first cruise. Thank well, you. No it's problem. everything I knew it would be. I wanted the first cruise to be my first cruise, and the second cruise, and the third cruise, and the fourth cruise. It took me 10 years to have enough money to come. So here's an idea about Florida, but I feel sure you've talked about this and you have an answer. I know you, I heard what you said about you sell it on itinerary while people really appreciate the content. But perhaps for all the people who might mm, be sad about doing the same itinerary, maybe there are many more people like me who would come if it was on land and we could afford it better. And I feel like you definitely asked yourself this question. So I don't yeah. know what you're Funny enough, we have. Yeah. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> yeah, so we've looked at what makes this work. And it's a lot of things. And what makes it unique. And we have looked for an land analog to it. Um, well, I think one of the keys is that it's a closed environment, but it touches down in places, which is enough to do, but not so much that that you lose the cohesion. Like we're forced to be in a community in some ways because we're on a ship together. Uh, but there also have to be amenities and, and comfortable things. So we've looked at, you can't do something like a convention center in a major city because then you go out to restaurants here and you lose the center. Um, there's also the model of um, like a, a folk festival or a big outdoor festival where you can, but you don't have the range of attractions and variety. And right. or maybe a resort somewhere. Yeah, yeah. that too. Yeah. Uh, but then you the might answer, have to lock the doors to keep it in. Putting out a great message to our attendees. <laughs> you don't understand. You're stuck in here with me. <laughs> we have looked at that, and the numbers don't work. Like in terms of uh, the per diem cost, like a cruise is actually a very good value for what you get. And we haven't, uh, we still would love to find one, but finding something that hits all those sweet spots. And seriously, if you or anybody else can think of something like that, please, in the feedbacks, we'll talk about different events we would do. Um, we would be open to it, and for sure, it would just be like, it's difficult, like Paul had said, even to translate this to a different type of ship. Um, to to make it work. And we did move from being uh, one set of ships, much larger ships, and back again, it worked, can be done. But we wouldn't do it lightly, and that would be a massive transition. And it's not quite the same thing, what we have discussed and have increasingly discussed in recent years. You know, maybe not a full weekend convention style, everybody piled into a place, but doing, not necessarily a full touring version of it, but doing sort of smaller, Concert versions, where it's like three of us and regional people who are familiar. If anybody remembers Woodstock, the show that's right. And Adam Savage would bring around to different places every so often. Something like that. It's obviously not the same thing, but to at least get a taste and to you know, meet back up with some of the people who have been on this experience and to give some other people a taste of what this experience is like you know, at a convention or at a theater near a convention or just, you know, however that works. Uh, we definitely looked into and are continuing to look into that as an option. But as I, you know, as we said, it's obviously not the same thing as the cruise or some sort of communal collective experience for longer than a day or two. But it's something, and it's also something that we are reasonably capable of. I mean, we'd love to take you all to a, a summer camp somewhere for a week, but it's it, it's not easy. You know, you can't just say, well, let's just do all of this, but do it on land. You know, it's a whole different. Uh, a, you know, organizational, just the thoughts of how to repalletize everything and read something that well, I'm sure is getting through the fits. Well, that, I think that's, to, to jump in briefly, one of the things that makes the, this such a special venue is the amazing support that we're able to get from the ship's crew and the customizability of the ship as a venue. Um, you know, the idea of going to a land to venue where the food is this good, where the service is this good, where uh, at a moment's notice, a, an electrician will come and add in power drops where, I mean, the, there's 950 crew here. Um, and, and that is, and the, the support that we get to run this event from them is pretty difficult to overstate. They are incredibly hard working. Without, without the support of the ship, we're going to be different, and like, that would definitely 
you know, if we needed to spend a week with a crew of 200 people setting up a place, and then like the food's not as good, or the, the you know, bat your bathroom breaks and somebody doesn't show up to fix it, like it, there's something nice about this. Spiders in your tent. Yeah, there's going to be spiders. 